Hello YouTube, this is Keith Kevin Ken. I'm Kevin and what you're looking at right now is the picture that I just posted to YouTube eight minutes ago. Nine minutes ago. <laughs> and just like we do every single day and just like we're going to do every single day, it's time to take a look at the pocket dump deconstruction. So this is my EDC, and let's tear it apart and play with some knives, okay? If you're interested in taking a look at my Instagram photos, I post about four to five photos a day, knife-related. It's at Keith Kevin Ken. Come join the feed and take a look at those. Starts early in the morning and ends late at night with some regular posts. And of course, you're on the Keith Kevin Ken YouTube channel. Don't forget to thumb this up. And of course, punch that subscribe button. It's very important that we bring in as many people as possible to just have fun with knives and to discuss knives on a daily basis. So let's talk about it. This is my tag watch. By the way, it is um, Wednesday, March 2nd. Wednesday, no, I'm sorry. It is, <laughs> can you imagine? Yes, it's Wednesday, March 2nd, 2016. I know a lot of you are watching this months, weeks, months, years from now, but I want you to know that we do this every single day. East Coast, March 2nd on a Wednesday. That's the tag watch. As you guys know, this is one of my regular rotations. Um, just love the tag watch it's solid it's wonderful chronograph it's a man's watch uh i know they make women's watch too uh <laughs> but i just love it i really do it's like having a sabenza on my wrist <laughs> doesn't cut as well though today it's all about the brandy just because i felt like brandy this morning uh not that i'm drinking this morning that's for later when i celebrate with my punch Cuban cigar, Ugh, man, I tell you, this takes the hump out of <laughs> hump day. It just smooths everything over at the end of a work day on a Wednesday. It's just perfect, really, really perfect. A wonderful Cuban cigar, great drink, and wonderful knives. My lucky silver one ounce coin today is part of the Chinese, uh, let me give it some shade here so you guys can see, there we go, part of the Chinese lunar um, year coins. It's a collection, this is from 2009, it's year of the ox, if you can make out that ox there. Always have a coin for luck, <coughs> make sure I make it through the work day so I can celebrate with the Cuban cigar and the drink. That's one of my Mont Blanc uh, thin wallets, also my coach uh, pad. Today, I just wanted, I don't know, I woke up and I said, I want a carbon fiber carry, plain and simple. Carbon fiber looks great, tough. It really is space age material, but also, I mean, it, it looks wonderful. Um, and as a carry, it just made me feel good on a Wednesday. I went through a number of different knives in my Pelican cases, and we'll talk about that a little later. Someone uh, left a comment, I want to say on Instagram or on this channel, and I will uh, respond personally. I respond to all the comments. But they asked me, how do I store all my knives? And you guys hear me talk about getting up early and going through my Pelican cases. Well, I have four Pelican cases. I have three 1550s and one 1600. Um, at some point, maybe we'll, ah, I just can't go through them. It'll take forever. But that's a lot of them. The knives are packed in there pretty uh, tight. But I love Pelican cases, and they hold all of my stuff. And every time I open up the lid, it feels like a treasure chest to me. Uh, let's talk about the knives. Uh, you guys know I love the Crickets. 
you just know I do because I use them a lot as my keychain uh, knife. I just think it's a perfect keychain knife. I always go on and on. This is a serrated, uh, what Spyderco, Spyderco calls their Spidey Edge uh, knives with that reverse S. I just love it, especially even with serrated um, edges. You know, I don't, they're not my favorite, but I do love them, especially on the knives uh, that Spyderco makes with that reverse S, a lot of their tactical knives, uh, because a serrated edge with a very sharp serrated edge and that little reverse S tip makes it very dangerous. This is a, a nice keychain knife, which is really a knife that gets a lot of work out, at least in my day-to-day -day office life, uh, is just wonderful. This is great because it can cut anything from rope um, to opening up boxes to your fingernails. It could do whatever you need it to do. This is a special one, it really is. This Cricut is carbon fiber. Um, it's wonderful, they put this, it, it's almost like the coating they put on their Necision um, folders where it feels glassy almost, but it is carbon fiber. Um, Oh, it's just real smooth. You can tell it's an older Cricut, and this is definitely an older Cricut and one that's hard to get, actually. <laughs> hard to find, sprint run, limited edition. It's because the scales are on both sides. Uh, the newer Cricuts are frame locks. The older ones are liner locks. So you can always tell that you have one of the older Cricuts. Also, you can tell because this Cricut has an old steel, ATS 55. I'm not a steel genius. What I can tell you is this is an early Cricut, so it has that early steel before VG10, before they began using a lot of VG10 on their Cricuts. Oh, man. A Cricut always feels nice in the hand. I'll tell you these older ones, and I have several older ones. Um... And yes, I'm gonna do a Cricut mini um, collection video because I just think they're great. Um, they feel the hand better. They're just thicker. You see the backspace? It's just a thicker knife, so it feels a lot better. I, I really am a Cricut fanatic, a Cricut fan. I carry them often, and even my nice ones. The older, rarer ones I carry as a keychain knife. You know, it's like having an, an expensive keychain holder. You know, one of those leather holders. This is even better. People love playing with it, and especially with that wonderful carbon fiber um, that's on that one. That's a rare Cricut ATS 55 steel because it's so old. And it, it really has held up. Um, and then, I'll tell you, I went through a lot of different changes for my second carry. I think because I started with the crickets, I started with my keychain knives. I was playing around with a lot of the smaller knives and, and settled on the cricket that I went a little bit more exotic on my middle carry as well. Um, this, my friends is a beautiful knife. Again, a sprint run, again, a little rarer than most. It is the Spydeco Dodo. It's the carbon fiber Dodo. It, it was a sprint run, which means limited edition. Um, Spydeco does sprint runs, which means a thousand knives or less, especially coming from a production knife company. That's a very limited edition. Once they're sold out, they're sold out. Look at the dodo. Look at it. It's almost, almost like a bigger cricket, isn't it? Um, again, it, it's not as much the reverse S, but it is. It has that belly, which really is very functional. I know it looks weird, like a, it's, just, it's as strange as the dodo bird, really. Uh, I know it looks weird, but man, it is a very functional knife. It just is molded into your hands. I'm trying to get my Cricut somewhere where you guys can look at it. Um, it's really molds into the hand. 
you know, look at it. There's that choidle. It's, it's more than 50-50. The handle takes up a lot because they know that that blade is a small blade. That 2.1 inch blade, which makes it legal in a lot of different areas because it's under the three inch, 2.1 inch blade. This comes in a lot of different um, handles. There are, there's the uh, G10 handle. I have an orange G10, but man, nothing's better than the carbon fiber. Look how it fits. Just look how it fits in the hand, man. On the carbon fiber version, it's S30V steel, great steel. That belly, you can get a lot of work in that belly. And then again, you have that reverse S, that tip, that downward pointing tip. Helps with boxes and other tasks. Oh man, I, 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 I mean, is there, there obviously are equal knives. I just don't know if there's a better one. It looks great. It has my wonderful, look at that clip. It has the perfect clip. <coughs> excuse me, that wire clip, you can reverse it. <clears throat> I'm right-handed. You might notice that that's on the left-handed side. And the reason is, it's a rare knife. I love it, I love showing it off. It comes out of my pocket a lot. This doesn't scare anyone, okay? It just doesn't. People love to play with it. It has that ball bearing, um, that nice, Spydeco ball bearing lock that you find on the Manix. Um, oh man, look at it. It's just beautiful. It looks beautiful. It's not scary, but very useful. I changed the clip over to the left hand side because I like it to ride uh, in a pocket with my handkerchief and my loose dollar bills on the left hand side. And then I have my knife and keys on the right. Um, but man, just so it's not touched, <laughs> really. It's a wonderful knife. Look at it, look at it. Ceramic ball on this one. You're used to this kind of lock, um, a more modern uh, version of this lock on the Manix. Um, but man, look at it. Ah, I, I hate, I hate putting it down. This actually was the third uh, knife that I considered for carry. Um, and once I picked it up, I just couldn't, I couldn't let it go. I just could not let it go. It's beautiful. Haven't carried it in a while. Uh, usually when you have a ball bearing, look, I mean, it's just smooth. You see that detent? Oh man, the detent is perfect. It's a perfect knife. It really is a perfect knife and a great dress knife. I do love, especially, I, I don't know why, I don't do it on a lot of my other knives, but on the Dodo, I haven't changed that clip back. I really like carrying it <coughs> on my left side. Look, that's not gonna be a quick draw knife. That's a knife you show off and show people and use around the office. It's a wonderful knife. I have a number of knives, two knives that got away instead of the Dodo, but man, I'm happy I have that Dodo. Spydeco Dodo S30V steel wire clip has that wonderful ball bearing uh, lock with that ceramic ball. Ah, there's nothing more beautiful than that uh, carbon fiber Dodo. Huh? okay. Maybe the Chris Reeve that's a Benza 25 carbon fiber inlaid. Um, man, oh man, what a piece. Oh, what an intelligent, classy uh, piece of knife. Um, man, oh man, craftsmanship. Solid, of course, you know about the Sabenza, you know about my love of the Chris Reeve knives. This is carbon fiber 25. I'm actually, I'm staring at how many? Two, four, six, seven uh, Chris Reeve Sabenza 25s. I am going to do a mini collection of the Sabenza 25s before I leave for work this morning, uh, right after this. So hopefully I'll put this up in the morning. It usually is done by the end of the work day. Uh, so you can take a look at this and then overnight, I'll upload um, 
the small collection of Sabenza 25s, a fun collection though, of Sabenza 25s that I have as a mini collection. So you can uh, look for two videos coming up today. One will be uh, later this evening if all works well, and that's this deconstruction. And then overnight, I'll upload the special Sabenza 25 uh, mini collection. But this is the carbon fiber inlaid. As I've said before, inlaid means it has three strips of either wood, micarta, or in this case, this wonderful carbon fiber. This is a Blade HQ exclusive. You cannot get this anywhere else. Of course, you can get it on the secondary market, but if you want one new, Blade HQ has it. It's exclusive, and man, it's beautiful. I love the double blue studs. I really love it. I love when all of the inlaid on top of that full tie, that shiny tie, when, they, when uh, Chris Reeve does inlays, he always shines up, spiffs up the titanium um, on the show side and also half of the lock side. I, and I love how it plays off of the rough titanium for the integral lock. I just, I love everything about this knife. I really do. I love his inlaid knives. Of course, the 25 started on uh, Chris Reeve's 25th anniversary. <coughs> Obviously, he has the Sabenza, the classic Sabenza, the Sabenza 21, and then he has the Sabenza 25. And I say the brand new in Kulsi is a small 25. Looks like the 25, <laughs> except it's smaller, just a little bit smaller than a small uh, Sabenza. That's it. That's the Blade HQ exclusive. Look at that. Man, oh, man. <sighs> That's the thing about a carry, and I think that's my end of the test for any EDC for me is when I'm all, when everything's said and done, when I've gone through the cases, when I've played with the knives, when I've thought about what I'm going to carry, the weight, what I'm doing that day, whatever. One of the biggest things, are there knives that I just don't want to put away? <laughs> and I know it sounds childish and stupid. I'm sure a lot of you knife freaks understand it. it. It basically says, you know, you can't go through the day without knowing I'm in your pocket. Um, and and I, these right here, I can't wait to have them, uh, you know, in my pocket. It's like having a wonderful tag watch on. <laughs> it really is. It just completes me. <laughs> That's sappy. <laughs> And probably stupid to a lot of people if they're not knife fans, but I really love it. That, my friends, that's my EDC. That makes up my Instagram picture of today um, at Keith Kevin Ken. That's the Instagram um, address. But you know what? This ain't Instagram. <sighs> this is the new crew. <sighs> on the Keith Kevin King YouTube channel. Uh, <coughs> this is a collaboration. Oh man, talk about a great collaboration. It actually was the fourth collaboration between Bob Terzula and Spydeco. And this time around, they decided to do a carbon fiber. I was playing with this all day, slip joint. This is a slip joint, or what Spyderco calls a slip it. No locking knife at all. You see that? No locking knife. Spyderco always works with their choidal. I know, choil, choil. I call it choidal, choil. Uh, I know I talk way too much about it, but I just love what they do. It's simple. Use a lot of the handle to make up the choil so that it's big enough for fat fingered people like Kevin uh, to put his fingers in there. You don't take up a lot of the blade. On all of their slip joints, no matter how big, and yes, I'm gonna do a slip joint uh, small collection. Um, no matter how small or how big, they have a lot of slip joints. He wants to make sure, Spyderco and Bob Terzula wanted to make sure that you're safe. So if it were to slip, 
your finger is stopping it from messing you up. Slip joints are really, really um, more safe. <laughs> you know, for a lot of years, there were only slip joints. So my father and grandfather only had a slip joint knife, pocket knife. Um, nowadays, with all the wonderful um, space age things, I think, yes, this is actually carbon fiber pill ply on top of G10. A lot of the modern slip joints, a lot of the good slip joints have that 90% stop. You see that? Right there, it stops. Of course, it's not locked. You can push it down, but it's a safety thing, that 90% lock. Oh, man, this feels so great in the hand. Of course, it's a Tezula. It's supposed to be great in the hand. You see the maker, the designer's um, mark. You see it on the clip, a nice straight, smaller clip, which I really like. I love this hump. I love it with the jimping because it just gives you a nice grip. Oh man, he included his own lanyard. It's kind of, I wanna say plastic. You know what it feels like? It feels like, and I'll say plastic, if you guys know what it's really made out of, tell me. And it's permanently in there. I mean, obviously you can cut it off and put your own lanyard. It's, it's a built-in lanyard hole on the back spacer. You see that? Um, it feels like, Remember growing up, I don't even know if they make it anymore, where you had the bicycle um, handlebar grips and it had those streamers on it. That's what it feels like. The old fashioned streamers <laughs> that we all had on our bikes. It's really a wonderful knife. I like it, especially as a slip joint. It's light. It's really, really nice. 3.1 inch blade. So if you have a three inch blade problem where you live, this would cause you even more problems even though it's a non-locking knife. But in a lot of places, especially internationally, a non-locking knife is what you have to have, places like the UK. And so this is a great international non-locking knife as well. Oh man, I love it. I love it too because usually I go it's so smooth but with a slip joint, look, it even stops there on the way up. I like that. Did you hear the click? Gives you confidence, doesn't it? <laughs> I, I really love this knife, as you guys already know. So that's the Tezula. That's the knife that got away, the Tezula Slip It, slip joint knife, a collaboration with Spydeco. Here's the deal. I did about a 180. The slip it is not what I first played with. I first played with this as the knife that got away. I wanted this knife because I hadn't carried it in a long time. This is, <coughs> excuse me, you guys, I'm trying to get over this cough. This is the Spydeco Dice. It's the knife that followed up the Spydeco Domino. You can tell because it still has those ugly carbon pill ply <laughs> scales, right? That ugly pattern. But man, I love the size of the die. The die really is a wonderful size for a flipper, for an EDC flipper. It has that um, Spydeco leaf blade that you see a lot. G10 um, with that carbon fiber pill ply on it the clip can go four different ways let me glance at the yes yeah, cts xhp steel a carpenter steel which means it's easier to sharpen i guess look i'm not a steel expert i'm just a knife fanatic so oh man that tie with the chris reeve integral lock that standard clip but man, it's so small. I wanted to carry it. I didn't have a flipper in my carry uh, and I hadn't carried it. It flips like a dream. It really does. Oh. And because it's a small knife under a three inch blade, the blade is 2.5 inches. Oh man, it's really nice. 
Um, I was playing with it, flipping it all morning. We'll flip it all evening as well. And then I, while I was flipping it, I was still looking through the cases and I picked up the Tazula and started going, oh, maybe a, I hadn't done a slip joint in a while, maybe a slip joint. And while I did that, I glanced over at the Dodo and went, bang, it's going to be the Dodo. So today, two knives that got away, the Tazula slip joint and the Spyderco. Oh, man. See, I hadn't flipped that much this morning after putting this down. So I need to get my flipping on. Oh, it's a nice. It's the die. The wonderful die. It was the Spyderco flipper, the third Spyderco flipper after the Southern, after the Domino. You got the dice. I call it a die. You know, one dice, but it's the dice. Spyderco dice. That's it, folks. That's the carry. And in this case, the two medium knives that got away. Hey, it's always a pleasure to talk to you before I get dressed and go to work. It's wonderful to talk knives with you. I know there's a lot of knife freaks out there watching this. Hey, we are bound together with the knives. I really appreciate you. Um, please thumb it up. Let me know that we're going in the right direction with this channel. Every single day, we're going to talk about knives at least four knives every single day. If you want the Instagram, it's at Keith Kevin Ken. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. I want to get a bunch of subscribers so that we can have a wonderful dialogue daily about a bunch of knives. Hey, keep your eyes open for that Chris Reeve Sabenza 25 uh, small collection video that's coming your way as well. Should hit tomorrow morning. I really appreciate you guys. Have a perfect day. Keep those pockets full. Goodbye.